Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Madam back again bringing you another general reading. Tonight we're going to do a love reading, right? We're going to see what's under the stars. Okay, what's going on? What's happening? What's soon to come? Okay, what do you need to know? And we're going to read and tap into the message and see what's going on. Okay. So first card out is reconciliation. Okay. <clears throat> it says someone from your past is returning to your light. Okay, once again, this is a general reading. Okay, earth, air, water, fire. Take it as it resonates. Okay, don't force it to fit. If it doesn't, you know your story. Okay. But yes, there is someone from your past who wants to return. Okay, and they want to bring things back together with you. Okay, um, they actually want to get to know you. Okay, because they didn't feel like they had a chance to do that in the past. Okay, maybe they're seeing a side of you that, right, make the effort. Okay, maybe they're seeing a side of you that they didn't notice before. Okay, maybe they grew up, they changed, and now they're ready to make the effort to bring this relationship together. Okay. Um, if you have anything in your life that's holding you down or holding you back, holding you up, okay, Spirit is telling you, whoever you are, to free yourself, okay, free yourself from whatever this is, okay, um, if you have children involved, um, do let people help you, okay. This card came out right behind children. It said, let your friends help. So if you're a single parent, okay, or someone raising your children by yourself, and you don't know how to ask or accept, accept outside help, Spirit is saying, let your friends help you. Okay, there are people in your life that have your back. Okay. So that's a side message for someone. But um, this person coming back from your past is actually seeing you as marriage material. Because we got honeymoon. Okay. We got honeymoon that came out. So this person wants to, to come back and rekindle the flame. This person wants you to trust them. Okay. They want to rebuild the trust between the two of you. Okay. So, now we're going to dig and find out, since they want to be trusted again, <laughs> right? There's got to be a reason, you know, you feel like you can't. Okay, so now I'm going to use my universal mystery deck to find out, right, because... Your person could have been married, and the person they could have been married to could have been pregnant, meaning they already had the baby, or this person could be pregnant right now, okay? But understand your person does want to communicate with you. Okay, this person does want to communicate with you. But they're being cautious about stepping back on the scenes, okay? What else? What else came between this relationship? Um, you could have pets. Your person could have pets. So thinking about getting a new pet. You know, but there are pets involved here. It could be a cat, dog, any kind of pet. Okay, but they're animals. <laughs> okay. That was a cycle. Okay. Whatever your person was going through, whoever they were with, it was a cycle, which is why it came to an end. 
and this is what your person wants to communicate with you and from this okay your person wants to communicate reconciliating with you okay and seeing where things go okay and even though they're going to come and tell you this devastating news <laughs> right they still want you to trust them at the same time this person is also questioning their sexuality and this keeps coming out in the reading okay so right um so now you know why your person wants to communicate but at the same time holding back because they're afraid of how you might accept the news okay right spirit says yes okay spot on once again spot on with the message um Maybe this is not the love reading you want, you know, but it's truth. <laughs> you know, the truth brings clarity, right? But this person wants to take you out, though. Okay? This person wants to take you out and get closer to you. Okay? This person really wants to be with you. Okay? This person could also be experiencing health issues. Okay? Okay? So, your person has some things going on in their life that they're bringing back to the table. And it's going to be your call whether you want to open the door with this person again. Okay? But you're being told to let go. Okay? Make room for the new beginning on its way to you. Wait a minute. It says let go and open your heart. So you can take that more ways than one. It could be let go as in fully let this relationship go. Or let go of holding on to the pain and open your heart. If you really love this person. You understand? And see how you can move things forward. Because as I said, this was a cycle for your person. Okay? And we all go through cycles in our life. Okay? And this was one that your person had to go through. Okay? Just like there are cycles that I have to go through. There are cycles that you have to go through. So this is what happened to your person. Okay? Your person could be at a distance from you. Okay? That keeps coming out, okay? Whether it's by heart or by physical distance. But you and your person are distanced from each other. And it was because there was someone else in the picture. There was someone else. And they were married to this person. Okay, Spirit is telling you this is a situation that you have to give time. Because nothing is going to come from this overnight. And if this person is not in your life right now, understand that this person will be back. And when this person comes back, what they're coming back is with an offer. Okay? They want to make you a solid offer. And they want you to trust them because they now see you as marriage material. So it's like your person went through the fire and whatever the cycle was and they came out the rebirth they had was phenomenal. Right. Your person probably had control issues. They had to work on. They had to heal family issues. Okay. While they were away from you. Your person had to dig deep within themselves. And do a lot of spiritual healing. Okay. And now that they've done that. They feel like your soulmates. And they want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation because they feel like there's unrequited love in this relationship. So, as shitty as the reading was sounding, right? We do have a, aww, right? We got a little cute love story going on here. You know, but it's all in how you're going to accept and respond to this when you're met, when you're met with it. You know, but you are attracted to this person. You two are actually attracted to each other. Okay, feminine, masculine, you you know your situation, okay? But 
this is a love connection right spirit is trying to teach you how to forgive and learn to lesson and learn the lesson i'm sorry spirit is trying to teach you how to forgive and learn the lesson okay you're being taught how to grow in love okay and if you allow yourself this could actually be your person okay because love is not a fairy tale okay it's nothing like in those Walt Disney movies you know you skip off into the sunset no you go through things in your relationship whether it be a marriage girlfriend and boyfriend whatever you're going to go through things. You're going to face obstacles together. You're going to face adversities together. Okay, but you have to be willing to face those things with your partner really together. Okay, not you and a person together and they're all by themselves in the relationship and the adversity. Okay, it's going to take both of y'all because that's what you're both here for, to be together. Right? This person is worth waiting for. They feel like you're worth waiting for. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Okay. Um, your person right now, even though they're going through something, they're focused on their finances and their career. And this relationship is from a past life. That's why there's so much passion. But your person has to fully and completely release their ex before they can come back in your life. Okay, and what you've been doing this whole time, spirit is clear, you've been loving yourself first the whole time. Okay, and that love for yourself is everything that's going to take you to the day you've really been waiting for, and that's your wedding day. Okay, right now you're calling your soulmate. Okay, all that self-love you're giving yourself, self-care, everything you're doing to love yourself is helping you call in your soulmate. Okay, and whether it be this person or someone else, you will have love in your life. Okay, and you will be happy in love. Okay, so if you've been feeling like there is no love for you, um, you only had one true love, it's like, no. <laughs> okay, we all have more than one soulmate in each lifetime. Okay, we have multiple soulmates. Okay, but it's up to us which soulmates we choose to settle down with. Did you know that? Not everybody knows that. You can know someone is your soulmate and keep it pushing. <laughs> Did you know that? A lot of people didn't know that, but it's true. But well, whoever's message this is, you know, this is a spiritual situation. Okay, your person is actually being awakened. Okay, and if you know anything about faith and spirituality and growth and all that stuff, rebirth, then you should have no problem understanding what your person is going through and what your person has been through. Okay, and that's the message for someone, and I hope that helped. Okay, so it was still a cute love reading. Like I said, we started off a little bit. I don't know where this is going, but, you know, we ended pretty good, right? Happily ever after. But it's your call. Until then, stay blessed, stay positive, and have a good night. Later.